Hello. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Cars. What about you? Um, like buses and like um, buses and factories. And sometimes if you burn wood and have bonfires. Um, also it comes from like these little um, cars. Air pollution comes from all the gases and smoke that burn from coal and cars. It comes from trains, cars and um, wood. It comes from factories, the back of cars, maybe a few buses. And Last night I was dreaming of what I was going to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that nervous? Yes. <laughs> So guys, how did you all get to school this morning? Uh, I parked in stride. So basically park in stride means that you park somewhere like near to school and then you walk. I told my mum to park further away and then walk to school. And I walk. I live quite close. And what about you? I walk but for my nan's because she only lives on the corner. Park in stride. Bicycle ride. Return to the mosh pit. I park over there and then walk. So who do you reckon then is, is most at harm? Like kids like us and elders and people with in that asthma um, can it can make it worse and you can most likely get to get cancer. Like babies mostly get it, but like if you're old old like you are, um you don't really get it that much. Children who are still kind of growing and developing people who have asthma because they can't breathe properly normally and then adding something that eat will even make someone who's completely healthy breathe that will make them cough on things, especially a person with asthma that will affect them a lot more. Just told you at the level of the cough fumes. And um, mostly like babies and children because um, our lungs haven't developed properly and it can affect your lungs. Babies when they're in their prams and they're getting pushed through all that exhaust, it's not very nice for them to breathe in. They, they can get cancer, brain problems, lung disease or heart disease. My name's Alan Harbottle, I'm the PHSE lead here at Mosspits Lane Primary School and I'm a senior teacher. I think in our age where pollution is an issue, um, children are very interested in the planet and looking after it. You can see that from things they watch and they talk about. So teaching them about air pollution is important because it, it directly affects them. Because they're younger and their lungs are still developing, air pollution is an issue. So making them aware of it means that they can talk to their parents about it. And often that is that pester power of the children talk to parents, the parents then think about what they're doing and how they're, what they're doing affects the lives of the children. Yeah, we've recently been um, involved in a project where we've been teaching about the lessons, we've been doing assemblies, we've been talking about the issues of air pollution in Liverpool, specifically to do with traffic. And also um, they've been doing some activities, some games and things to just get think about the issues around air pollution. So we've been encouraging children to walk to school. They've been gaining badges for walking or parking and striding, as some of them have been doing. And really it's getting them aware that, you know, bringing cars up to the school means that air pollution is around the school and especially with the young children when they're coming out of cars they're walking through exhaust fumes inhaling those things that's not healthy and we're, we're just educating the children about that so we're trying to encourage the parents to not park around the school because it's an issue but also to encourage them to park away and walk into school and, and live a healthier lifestyle part of our pro program of healthy living in school the children are definitely talking about it. They're very switched on about what we're doing and it's really encouraging to see how they've taken on board what we've been talking about in classes. So what can we do then to sort of help stop air pollution, especially around the school? Maybe start walking to school a bit more instead of taking the car and maybe um, you could just maybe take a bike or even just walk there. People need to buy more electric cars or petrol cars instead of diesel because diesel is probably the main problem of air pollution. Yeah, give family members and friends a gentle reminder not to use their car unless it's absolutely necessary. Maybe do a sign in front of our school and then take a picture of it and then let it go worldwide on the internet. Yeah, and you could use public transport, yeah. like trains, buses and taxis. When we were thinking of a car-free zone where only people that have drives there can you get a pass 
and every once in a while we'll go down and check and make sure new cars are there unless they have the pass there. Yeah. I'm trying to do like a thing in school where there's a reward for not driving for like a whole week and trying to only yeah. walk to school for a whole week and if you can do that every day only walk to school and then you get like a prize or something. Thanks, we'll Thanks guys. For more information on what you can do to reduce your exposure and contribution to air pollution, visit www.letscleartheairliverpool.co.uk.